it's Randy of Core and More Health and Fitness, and today I briefly want to talk to you about probiotics and your immune system. So here's the deal. 70% of your immune system is actually located and living within your digestive system. It's living in your gut. That's where it starts. I was amazed when I heard that. I thought it was a crazy thing to hear, but it's actually true. The problem is that most of us have digestive systems, colons, guts that have been damaged. Damaged by the foods we eat, by the chemicals we put into our bodies, by our environment, and by medicine and drugs and alcohol that we take. When I say drugs, I'm actually even talking about prescription drugs, um, like antibiotics. So does this sound familiar to you? You have kids, their ear hurts, you go to the doctor, they have an ear infection, and they get put on antibiotics. I can count people that have their kids on antibiotics two or three times a month. I was one of them. I knew no better. I was very young. My kids were young, and they told me he had to be on antibiotics for his ear infections all the time. How I wish I could turn back the clock and knew not and know what I know now back then. But anyway, here's why I want to talk to you about it. We all have bacteria, like I said, and they live in our gut, 70% of them. The problem is that most people hear the word bacteria and they freak out and they think, oh my God, I don't want that in me, get it out. But you do want it in you, especially if it's the good strain, healthy strain that's fighting disease. So next time somebody wants to put you on antibiotics, it's okay to ask them to do a white blood cell count or do a, a blood test to see if what they think is there is actually bacteria. If it's viral, if it's a cough without strep throat, if it's a cold, antibiotics might not be your best bet because you may be stripping yourself of more of the benefits that you need within you than helping. So here's what you do. If your infection is bacterial, okay, if you have to take the antibiotic, take it. I'm not, I never ever tell you not to. But if you do, when you're done, you want to repopulate your gut with probiotics. Even if you're not taking an antibiotic, you want to start repopulating your body with probiotics. Find a probiotic that has many, many, many different strains of bacteria. They're made with the healthy guys, your soldiers, the people that fight disease and, and everyday illness. You can find them in the refrigerated section. You can find them non-refrigerated. Vitamin Shop, GNC, Whole Foods, Fairway. I don't care where you get it. Online. There's plenty of reputable companies that make it. One that I love is this one. It's called Garden of Light. That's the company. The, ant the probiotic is called Primal Defense. It comes in regular and ultra. It just dif The difference is whether they're coated caplets or not. Um, another great company is Jaro. You can also get them from a company called Ultra Life, Metagenics. There's tons out there. Dr. O'Hara's is another reputable probiotic. What you do is you take it in the morning and you take it at night, depending on which one you choose and what it says on the bottle. When you're starting out, just take one because you're going to have to get used to it. And like I said, a probiotic starts repopulating your body with all the good bacteria that fight disease and make your immune system stronger. They keep you healthier. That, along with some other supplements that I'll start talking about later, are going to make a big difference in your life. You might say to yourself, okay, I've heard about probiotics. I'm going to go out and I'm going to eat yogurt. You've got to eat so much yogurt to get the same amount of probiotic as you would in the supplement. And besides that fact, there's plenty of people that are dairy intolerant and can't handle that yogurt. But if you want to have the yogurt as an additional thing and you say, I'm not dairy intolerant, I'm going to take it anyway, here are some suggestions. Get yourself some kefir. Try sauerkraut, which is raw. That has it in there as well. Um, try goat's milk yogurt. That has probiotics in it as well. That has the right... Um, healthy bacteria to, re to restore your gut. It's good for you. Get it. Don't be afraid. Try it. There's no side effects other than more health, better digestion, and more energy in the end, and just feeling great. So that's it. Get your probiotic. Any questions, you can email me, randy at cornmore health and fitness or cornmorehealth at gmail.com. I'd love to answer them. Any questions, repopulate yourself. Be careful before you take antibiotics again. Ask for a blood test if you're not sure. Just don't take it to take it. And make sure you're doing yourself good and not harm. And same thing for your kids. Speak up. 
I'm never saying to say no to a doctor, but I am saying to question them. It's okay to ask questions. Are you sure an antibiotic is going to help them? Could this be viral? Will it go away on its own? Do whatever you can to stay as healthy as you can. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, Randy here, and I want to give you one last bonus on probiotics and antibiotics. You know how when you take antibiotics, you very often, if you're a woman, are told you may get a yeast infection, be careful, be aware of it. Well, when you take a probiotic, you replace your body with the strong bacteria to avoid that, and you often avoid those yeast infections. So once again, one more bonus as to why you want to take them. Okay, bye. Thanks for tuning in.